All right, so when it rains, it pours, and when it pours, it gets real expensive real quick because I just got the Spider-Man wave yesterday. I got a tip that Walgreens was getting them, then I got a buddy in Vegas goes, hey, I just found a couple of these at Walgreens, so you might want to go out and start hunting. Went to a couple, struck out, went today, walked in on my second Walgreens. Yes, my second, because you got to hit up a few. You never just hit one. And magically get lucky that doesn't happen so on my second Walgreens today I walked in and there's a whole entire case there I was super stoked like how often does that happen like normally you get like half of it then I can't review them and then I gotta wait to get the other half and then I debate like should I have just waited and got them online sometimes online is quicker sometimes so you never know you never know but the thing of it is is I didn't pay more than suggested retail Never do that, especially when they're coming out like this. If you're the guy that spends 30 bucks on a Silver Surfer, well, you're either really rich or you really like Silver Surfer. So here we have an X-Men wave, and of course I'm always excited to put new Marvel Legends on my shelf, action figures on my shelf, especially X-Men on my shelf. And every year I go to Comic-Con and I go to the Hasbro panel, and the Hasbro panel, panel consists of about 80% of ball liquors and then 20% of like hardcore collectors. I like to consider myself in the hardcore collector. And then they'll announce all their new figures like, hey, look at us. And then they'll go, hey, we got yellow striped Wolverine. And then half the 80% the, of the crowd is like, oh, wow, oh my God. I can't believe it. We're getting a yellow striped Wolverine. And then I'm sitting there with the pouty face going, I think I already got like eight yellow Wolverines. But whatever. I'll get them. He has a build a piece. And go to the next slide. And then they go, we got Storm. And everybody goes, ah, Storm. And I'm sitting there going, God, I know I have at least six of those. And... It's kind of a new costume, but I kind of have a similar costume. And then they're like, we got Magneto. And I'm like, well, at least it's a costume that I don't have. And I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but come on, you're making eight figures in a set. Can you give us some new ones other than Multiple Man? Like when they showed Multiple Man, Multiple Man I was the nerd in there going, oh my God, Multiple Man. I can't wait to put them on my shelf. This is gonna be so awesome. And it comes with three hats. So now I gotta buy three of them and I'm happy to do so, but I only found one, but I'll pick up two more when I see them. And then they got the um, Gladiator. And I was like, wait a second. Didn't I just buy him a couple years ago in a San Diego Con exclusive and now you barely slightly repaint him and make me buy him again because there's a build a piece in here because I would have totally passed on this if that head wasn't in the package. <sighs> okay, maybe I wouldn't have passed on it. Let's be real here. But I should pass on it. And then we have Sabretooth and then the crowd roared. Sabretooth, this is awesome. And I know I got tons of good Sabretooth. If Marvel Legends hasn't made a good one, I know Marvel Select has. And we'll check all those out. And then everybody was like Psylocke, and I was like, that Psylocke's pretty cool, but she doesn't even have purple hair. And then I look on Instagram, and now they got a variant with purple hair. I wasn't lucky enough to find that one. So I'm going to be the sucker that buys two, because I would rather have one with purple hair. But I couldn't leave this on the shelf, because once again, it's got the build a piece in there, and I really want to put this apocalypse together. <clears throat> and when they showed the apocalypse, that's when the crowd went completely nuts. And like guys were like almost like running up to the table, like giving everybody high fives behind the desk, like wanting to blow Jesse Falcon and Dwight right there, just going, oh my God, it's apocalypse. It's a build a figure. That is so amazing. Then I'm just sitting there in my chair with pouty face once again going, I already have an apocalypse he's like this tall he's like the best one of the best toys i have in my marvel legend collection and these guys are going nuts over a figure that's not as good as the figure that we already have and i'm thinking wait a second maybe they don't have that figure maybe this is the end all be all apocalypse to them 
I'm gonna pull them all out and let you be the judge. Let's check them out. Alright, so I got them all lined up for you and kind of check the scale on them. We'll go over them real quick, then we'll check them out one by one. We'll start down here with my favorite one in the set, down to my least favorite, the Gladiator. God, that just kind of sucks to keep redoing figures that we already have. And another thing, before we get on this, this is the second set of Marvel Legends without any movie figures. So let's take a moment of silence to appreciate that. Alright, that was good enough. Back down here to Multiple Man. There was a day when Toy Biz, Marvel Legends, they'd basically take a whole set of Marvel Legends and then they'd repaint them and give you like a different costume or a different version and we wouldn't get mad when they would do it because it was like kind of like our option to buy it. We already had the build them piece. We already put, we already put him together. And then if we chose to get the variants, then that would be like our option. So that was kind of our bad. So we couldn't really bad mouth. And this is one of those sets that I wish they would have did that. Down here you have multiple man. This is the figure that I wanted the most. Really wanted in my collection. Brand new. God, just super stoked. I need to get at least two more of those. That's one that if you would have did that a different color or without the jacket, then I'd even have to get even more of those. Then you have Apocalypse sitting here next to him. Back in the day, they did like a blue one of him and a black one of him. That would have also been a nice um, variation if they wanted to do this whole entire set in a repaint which I know I already buy too, too many of these, but this is a set where that really would have worked. Then you have Magneto, my third favorite in the set. It's a new costume. Always excited to get a new costume. He comes with two heads, so I probably need to get two of them. And then they made Psylocke, and I was like, great, another Psylocke. My boy Brock was like, what are you talking about? We totally needed an upgrade for Psylocke. All the ones that we have really suck. And then I went and looked at him, and you're going to see him here in a minute, and I was like, God, he's right. Maybe we did need a new one, so maybe I'll stop complaining about getting the same figures over and over. Well, maybe I won't. It's a new Psylocke. She's definitely better than the ones that I have. You'll see them in a second. They make one with purple hair, so I'm probably going to get two. Then you have Storm, and this is like a thing to where if they would have did this and like, a white costume also with regular hair, not a mohawk hair. That would have been one where I would have bought two. Sabretooth, as far as that goes, well, you know, you could still do something different with him. That's kind of maybe the one where you would just do one of. And then Wolverine down here at the end, like, wouldn't it have been way cooler if they would have, like, did him yellow, the yellow stripe one, and then have, like, the chase run or a different run, like, all these over again and just put the brown one in the same package for then like like get it out of the way for we can get to new characters then in gladiator you've seen them all before he was a con exclusive a couple years back i hate when they do this i guess if you guys missed them you probably really didn't even want them because if you did want them you would have got them this on ebay the let's best. check them out nothing beats this there's one i go to review a figure and i can't pull out 10 other figures of the same figure I just got one multiple man, unless I get the 5 inch, but I don't want to cut this guy short, so I'm not going to pull out the 5 inch, we're just going to look at him, just enjoy him, I'm just happy that we finally got one, and like, this is just so nice, it's such a treat to get a new figure in collection, I can't wait to get two more, let's take a close up look at him, first off the head sculpt, it, it's perfect, no flaws, no nothing, really well done, I love the jacket on him, just really comic book accurate. The costume underneath, it, it's it, this is my favorite version of Multiple Man. So if you're going to give me Multiple Man, this is the one that I would have wanted. They make different ones, like green costumes, whatever. I would like to have those also, but this is the one that I wanted the most. The leather jacket even has like a leather texture on it. You can see like little stitching in there. They killed it. They did an awesome job. Did I mention that this is our second set of Marvel Legends with no movie figures? Just, hey... God, that's refreshing. I mean, I love the movies. I love the movie figures. But the comic book stuff is really where it's at. As far as articulation goes, we're not going to have time for that in a long video like this. Here's the other two head sculpts. Both really good. This is why you got to get three of them. It's multiple, man. I'm sure there's going to be guys out there like getting like 20 of these things. And I just don't know where they get the money for like 20 of these things. Because I would like 22. And I think I'm like spoiling myself by getting three. 20, I don't know, when that Hydra 2 pack out, man, some of you guys went 
really hard on that. Here he is, let's get to the next one. And now we have my second favorite figure in the set. This thing would have easily have been my first favorite figure in the set. But once you have a toy like this, like this is Toy Biz's version of a Build-A-Figure. This thing, I mean, it's withheld the, the test of time. It's an amazing toy. They, they made two different versions of them. If you're like really rich, they make like a, a black version and a blue version. This would be the blue version. The black version kind of looks more similar to this one. I mean, it's just like, he's amazing. I was, I was excited to get him. I'm happy that I have him. But when you got this thing in your collection and then they show this slide at, at Comic Con and everybody's like going, oh, that's amazing. But then you got this, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and start over here. We have this old school one with the red wraps on it. This is like when they didn't know if they wanted to be five inch or six inch. At the time, I didn't have a six inch, so this was the placeholder until I got this one that kind of looks like a gorilla. I thought he was pretty cool, but this thing, man, guys, I highly suggest you get on eBay, see what these things are going for, because that's a really nice piece to have in your collection. It's nice when you look down on your shelf and they're all not exactly the same size or within an inch of being the same size. Let's go ahead and check him out. First off, the, the paint on this thing is amazing. Like they went all out. This is the only one we have that actually has an open mouth. That looks really cool. All the other ones kind of have that like catfish closed mouth thing, which is really cool. I'm glad that this one has an open mouth because it makes them stand out. They did a great job on this thing. I definitely love it. I mean, he's my second favorite figure in the set. These little tubes come in and out. They actually fall out kind of easy. As far as articulation goes, nothing really stood out on him. The ab crunch is like one of these old school ones instead of the one that cuts at the waist. I like that better. Um, <clears throat> nothing on the boot here, just like some clip-on stuff. Most of this thing looks brand new. If it's brand new enough, it looks like a brand new action figure. There might be like some reused hands or something like that on him. But for the most part, he's brand new. He's a great figure to add to my collection. All right, so up next, next is my third favorite figure in the set, this Magneto. And the reason why he's my third favorite is because I basically already have some really good Magnetos. This is like Magneto to me. I love the red and the purple suit. I thought this one looked great. This one was okay. I mean, this was my go-to Magneto, and he still almost is, but I'm really feeling this red and black costume. Like, he said several costumes. Is this my favorite? No, this one still is, but it looks fresh. I like it. It actually looks like a better action figure than the other. Well, I don't know. It's got real close, man. I'm having a hard time, but I do like the figure. Then down here, we had just have a weird one that you're like, God, what? And then you buy it anyways. Then you have the movie one. I actually thought that was pretty cool at the time. Then you have an old animated cartoon one. This thing, let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison with these two. For you can kind of decide if you want to only just buy one. This one comes with this extremely stupid electricity effect, but he's got a magnet power. Um, I, they're really proud of this thing. This is going to be like their new disc thing. Like they use it on Storm. I'm pretty sure that's the same exact one that they use on Thor. <sighs> I, I don't know. I guess they're just more concerned about their Christmas bonus and giving us a cool accessory. That's why they just keep reusing us. They give you purple hands. I actually think the purple hands are pretty cool. I don't know why a magnet power glows purple. Yeah, it comes with black hands. I'll go ahead and use that when I get two of them. Here he is side by side comparison with the other one that used to be my favorite, which is still kind of my favorite. He looks really good. I love this classic costume, the one behind it. Those weird balls at the hip kind of throw that thing off. This thing also comes with an interchangeable head, an unmasked head. This is why I need to buy two of these because I have to display this. It'll be the only Magneto that I have that comes unmasked. Maybe the movie one does, but the mask is on that. So it'd just be really cool to have this. Maybe stick this on a different one, but I won't. I'll put it on the black one. They did a really good job on him. These things, they're just they're silly. They're soft. They're flimsy. They barely stay on. They never really go the way that you want. Look, at they're just like, they're almost not even there. Like, they need to definitely be a little bit harder plastic. Here he is with the purple hands, the cape clips on his back, articulation. Come on, man. You guys probably got 20 of these same exact figures. This one's just painted a little bit different with a different head and cape. All right, so this is a perfect example of the repainted case. And I know that I keep bringing up the repainted case because that's something that would have really worked out nice with this set like you could basically 
I've repainted everybody except for this one because they already repainted this guy. But here she is, and this is a perfect example of when I go to Comic Con and then they show this on the panel. And then I look Jesse straight in the eye, and I'm just like, really? And then he looks at me, and he kind of looks at me like, really? I'm just joking. He probably doesn't even know that I'm alive. But this is like another Psylocke. And then I tell my buddy, and I'm like, God, and another Psylocke, bro. Like, really? He goes, oh, that's great. We need a new Psylocke. And I'm like, what? Yeah, the ones that we have are junk. They're garbage. We definitely need one. And I think that he's telling me that because he probably sold his on eBay a long time ago but when you actually do look at these other ones and I'm like well this one is definitely junk this one is not that bad and it's nice to have it in the X-Force costume and this is what I'm saying if you would have did this and just repainted it like this and sold it to me again I would have been more than happy to buy it because if they don't do something like this you know that they're gonna do it later and then you're not going to get a new figure. You're just going to get the repainted figure. That's why the split case thing, they're basically doing it to us anyways, but they're making us in different lines. And then we just get the same figure over and over. I don't know. I kind of beat that one to death. Maybe you guys get my point on it. As far as she goes, she actually is pretty amazing. This one also looks good. If you weren't lucky enough to get this one and put it in your X for a set, if you don't have it, don't worry about it because you know for a fact this is going to come out repainted. That's their specialty. This one definitely has a little bit of the tranny effect on it. Yeah. Let's see. She might even have a thong like they used to get down pretty hard back in the day. It's pretty thin cut back there. Not bad. It has the purple hair. Um, I think that my boy Brock might have hooked me up with this accessory. I can't really remember where that came from. I don't think that it came with the action figure, but I think he might have hooked me up with it. This thing, okay, they were right. This thing's amazing. The, the accessories on this, really well done. You got this sword. Man, you can just see that thing from a mile away in the toy room. It's a brand new sword, the flame effect or the magic effect, whatever effect you think. That thing slides right off the sword, so you know we're going to see this sword about at least 16 more times. The thing that locks on her face, also really cool. Definitely like this. They killed it with this figure. I didn't think I needed a new side lock. Side lock. I'm really glad that I have it. And then I think, well, this is awesome. Would I rather have had an updated Psylocke or would I rather have a figure to my Ultra Force or Alpha Flight? Ultra Force, who's that? Alpha Flight or Inhumans. And I'm like, well, of course I'd rather have those, but this is a good figure and I'm happy to put it in my collection. And now I got to buy another one because I want the one with the purple hair. It'd be nice if the purple hair one actually had the costume on it back here. As far as articulation goes, you've seen it a million times. Here she is, she's a great figure. If you're only gonna get one, or if you wanna sell these two on eBay, like my buddy did. Go ahead and All do right, that. Then we have the Storm, and I was like, okay, it's kind of a new, fresh, updated version of Storm. I like it, I'm glad I got it. Is it my favorite version of Storm? Absolutely not. This one right here is, I love her in the, this, I don't really go for the Mohawk on Storm for some reason, it's cool. But this is my favorite Storm. I love her in the white outfit with the with the big white hair. I just think that really, God, that's just, that's my Storm. That's what Storm's supposed to look like to me. And they liked it so much that they went ahead and repainted it two more times. And this is what I'm talking about, the repaint thing. So this basically came in like a refresher case. So when they do go out, when they re-release this and like a white version of this or a long hair version of this, then that's like a figure that you don't get back then. They would just do them all. Do them all again. You don't have to buy them unless you're a sucker like myself. And then you get two versions of the same character. I liked it better when they did it that way. Back then, this was considered an accessory. It comes with a cloud with lightning all over it. So you can kind of fit in this little porthole. Over here we have, this is like from the old like cartoon show. This thing like spins, squirts water, just kind of a nice little touch. Then you have the movie one back here. This thing would actually light up. The batteries are dead. You can lift her up and down on it. Those were accessories until the Christmas bonus thing came around and the incentive program. Now this is what they consider an accessory. Some weird floppy lightning thing that doesn't even stay on her. Like, look, you can't even put it on her right. It, 
I mean, it, it's kind of cool. I'm okay. I'm glad we got it, but it sucks. It's just like them just saying, "Hey, we're gonna give you the bare minimum, and you're gonna like it because you're a Marvel fan and you're a sucker." And basically, who else are you gonna get these things from? Probably nobody. So we're bent over the barrel. We have to get them. I do like this action figure a lot. It's not my favorite storm. I am glad that I got it though. The boots are definitely cool. Um, some new parts, some old parts, some parts you're definitely going to see again. I'm definitely digging the corset. You know this is going to be the future White Queen right here. Like, let's be real, guys. This says White Queen all over it. They'll put a different head on it and call it White Queen. You know that's coming. That's my prediction. But I'm sure you guys all predicted the same thing. As far as articulation goes, there's really no point. There's nothing new here. She's a great looking figure. My favorite thing about her is those lightning bolts for the earring. That is just really cool. I'm looking around and she's like the only one that has that. Here she then is. Let's check it out. Let's be real here, guys. Did we really need another saber tooth? Yes, the one that we just got is a good saber tooth. Okay, maybe he's a great saber tooth. But I really don't feel as if we needed a new saber tooth. Yes, we have tons of bad ones. We even have some horrible ones like these two right here. This is basically where they split the case. They did an open mouth one, a closed mouth one. This one I thought was pretty cool and it's still pretty cool. I like the look of that one. Then you have the weird movie one behind it. They liked it so much that they went ahead and put a bunch of snow on it, gave it to us again. And then we had to buy it again if you were a sucker. Hopefully you were smarter than me and didn't buy either one of them. Then you have this one. I also thought he was pretty good. Like they're all pretty good except for these two. And then this one over here. This one makes absolutely no sense to me. This thing, he's got the claws that like, oh God, that toy is just really bad. Then you have the one back here. Like this one should come with like Wild Child or something. I guess he didn't. I have the 5 inch version of him which does have a wild child, I should probably go up there and grab the wild child and put him down with him because he's a totally different kind of plastic. Then you have one from like the old animated cartoon and let's face it guys, Marvel Select completely blows all of these out of the water. They did the variation on their thing also, basically you got the claw toes down here on the, and then this one just has like the boots, this one has a totally different head. These. Are my these are my favorite the articulation sucks yes I get it so when the comments where you go well the articulation sucks but who cares dude look at these things like look at the size of those things like you put this thing next to like a Wolverine like man those things are great that's why when they did it I was like don't even mess with Sabretooth Marvel Select has already blown you guys out of the water there's really no point but they thought that there was a point so they gave it to us again he is a good action figure. Everybody keeps complaining about those little lines on the jaw. On mine, I think he's actually done really well. I don't really see a problem there. I understand why they had to do it, because they do an open mouth. They don't like doing open mouths, because it's harder for them to paint the inside of the mouth. It's much easier for them to put like duck lips on a girl action figure. And then they just reuse the head over and over. Open mouth, I'm glad that they did it. It wouldn't really be saber tooth if you didn't have it. It's got this fur thing, this thing just clips on, clips off. I don't know why you'd want to take that off because then it'd look really boring like this one. Like that just is not saber tooth when he doesn't have that mane on there. That thing is really cool. The action figure is basically an action figure that you already have repainted except for they got like these little spike things on the arms. Hands are probably new. The fur thing's definitely new. A new head, I like them. I don't love them, and we're getting down so to the So now we're getting of down the to the end, and my second to last action figure in this set is this Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Is he a horrible figure? No, absolutely not. He's actually an amazing figure, and he shouldn't be this far down on the list, but when you have this many Tiger Stripe Wolverines, it's kind of hard to get excited about another Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Basically, you got like these four over here. They're real similar. They're, this is just kind of where they would do refresher cases. They would do like one with a growling mouth, one with a closed mouth. It was a cool option. You didn't have to buy them both unless you were a sucker. Obviously, I am. And then over here you have this version where it's kind of like more of a mustard color. And they basically did the same thing again, masked on mask. You didn't have to buy them. I did. Then you got this weird cat face one down here. He was cool except for this claw is definitely going south on that thing. And they felt the need to give us two of those, and I felt the need that I needed to buy both of them. Then you have the Mezco, of course, up here. 
And if you're sitting here and you're really bummed out because you didn't get that, you know what? Don't be bummed out because out of all of these Tiger Stripes Wolverines, the one that I didn't really want but now I really do want, my favorite one is this one. Like, they killed it. He's basically a perfect action figure. For the first time, they actually did these shoulder pads. I mean, the first time in the new ones. They actually did the shoulder pads separate. They took the time, put these blue things on here. Did a really good job. I'm really digging this. Has a totally different head sculpt from all the ones behind it. You think that they would just reuse the same one and paint it different. They didn't do that. It even comes with um, the unclawed hands, which that with Wolverine, like, never, not in my collection. I don't even know why they give them to me. I'll never put them on there. This thing is amazing. I love the scale on them. I love the articulation on them. The color on them is perfect. The paint on them is perfect. All the line work. So, man, they just, they are killing it with this thing. Like, I mean, I can put it side by side with the Mezco one. And then the Mezco one is like, I don't know, man. It doesn't, I mean, it's an amazing toy. I love it. But that thing's $80, like $85 after shipping. And you're lucky if you even got one at that price. And then you look at this thing and it's like, I definitely like this color better. The Mezco one has that weird, like, bright canary yellow once again i like it but this is my favorite one and i went ahead and pulled out the other ones that they've recently been making that they're really really proud of first they started off with this brown classic wolverine back here i thought they did a great job and i was like god i got tons of those and i pulled him out and he's like god he's my like my favorite brown wolverine i like him even more than the mezco one and then they liked him so much that they decided to do him with an unmasked version see this is something like just put them both out at the same time, put an extra head in there, I'll buy two anyways, but then the next time you make more figures, then you could do a different character instead of burning us twice and like, I don't know, I just want more characters that I don't have. Then you have an old man Logan, okay, let's predict the future here, so kind of looking to see what they got going here, I'm saying that they're going to do an unmasked head of him, and then they're going to do like a regular Logan not the old man Logan. You know what's coming. Let's get to the last one. We'll be real quick. You have quick the with worst him. figure in this set, which he's not a bad figure, but if you already have the San Diego Comic Con exclusive one, this thing is just a complete waste of money. And I would have liked to think that I would have had the willpower to not buy him if he didn't come with a build a piece. If he didn't come with a build a piece, this wouldn't even bother me. It'd be like, ah, oh, no big deal. He didn't come with a build a piece. I didn't have to buy him. I was an idiot, I bought him anyways, but I didn't have that choice because I had to put that apocalypse together, so it sucks when you do this. Hasbro, come on, man. You're better than, well, you know you're not. Thanks for watching.